Quick march. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and today I'm bringing you a two versus two battle in Total War Rome 2. And it was a pretty close battle and quite fun to play, and it is actually my first play and upload as Syracuse. I've never played them before. I'm just going to put this on slow motion a bit before the battle takes off. Take a look at the army comp. So I am playing with the Seleucids on one side, and then we have uh, Tylus and the Odrysian Kingdom, I believe. And let's take a look at the army comps here. So I've got uh, four units of archers in the front, pretty standard. And I've got four units of pikes. And then I have, I believe, four units of pick top lights. And then my fifth pick top lights is the general. And then I have three units of these mercenary Samnite warriors. So they're a pretty, pretty sturdy melee fighting force. And I've got four units of Hippaeus Lancers, so they're a very heavy shock cav. So let's run over and take a look at the Seleucids. So in the front, he's got a lot of shield bearers, I believe six units of them. And then he has six units of Syrian heavy archers. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. And he's got uh, Hellenic cataphracts. Looks like he's got three units of them, and I think that's all the cav he brought. Looking at the Odrysian Kingdom... Oops, sorry about that. So he's got four units of Thracian warriors in the front. Then he has five units of Thracian bowmen. And then he's got Thracian nobles. Uh, looks like seven units of them. And then he's got Thracian royal cav. And Thracian horsemen. Uh, three units. So four units of cav altogether. And looking at Tylus, he's got four units of Osworn in the front. Then he has... What has he got? Six units of Celtic Slingers. Then he's got four units of Noble Horse. And then the fifth unit is his General. And then he's got some Spear Warriors behind. So that's pretty much the battle. Uh, it was ultra funding, so I believe it was 14,000 per player. And as you see from the Balance of Power, it's pretty much dead even at this point. So let's zoom in and start the battle. So Syracuse, uh, it is a pretty nice uh, Greek faction to play. Their pick top lights are really, really sturdy. They're actually better than the uh, the mercenary hoplites that a lot of the other ones can bring. Uh, I believe they were twelve hundred apiece, so they are they're definitely picked or chosen as as it were. But Tylus, uh, he definitely has the range advantage. But on the Seleucid side, the uh, allies of myself actually have the range advantage, so I'm kind of undecided at this point as to what I want to do exactly. I am a little bit nervous uh, from all the noble horse because my Apeus Lancers, their shock cav, whereas the noble horse are melee cav. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. So I'm gonna push I'm gonna push forwards my archers. I wanna try to get them in range, otherwise I'm just kinda throwing the the money I spent on them away. And looking at the Seleucids uh, and the Odrysian Kingdom, uh, they're uh, the uh, Odrysians are pulling all of their cav around to the flank. I think he sees that he outnumbers the Seleucids in the cav department. And you can see that all the noble horse here is pushing over onto the flank. So it is going to come down to whose cab is better. They're all disappearing. And he's got some spear warriors as well that he's going to try and send in to help out. At speed! But we're just kind of staring at each other at this point. Don't know exactly what we're going to do. The Seleucids have peeled off their cataphracts to try to slow down these Thracian horsemen. Dominate. And I am actually moving forward so you can see my deployment. I want to get my Samnite warriors right to the edge of this so that I can't get outflanked on this side. 
and then just stretch my pike line with the pick top lights in the middle uh, to hold fast. And yes, the Thracian horsemen battling with the Hellenic cataphrats. Uh, you can see that I actually was going to send some of my lancers over to help, but I noticed that he actually is breaking them very quickly. So I turned around and just focused on my edge of the battle. And the Syrian archers just raining arrows down onto these uh, Odrissian bowmen. Oh, just melting them away. Wow. Wow. Very, very nice there. And on this side, we are actually pushing forwards. I just want to get my troops into melee because I am outnumbered as far as the infantry goes. We got the Osworn ooh, throwing their throwing their Pila and then trying to escape, but I did catch them in melee. And then I've got my pick top lights as well. They're going to be bolstering the lines. And over here, yeah, they're taking a lot of damage, so I just need to get them into the battle as quickly as possible. And we've got the cab engagement over here. The heavy horse charged into my Samnite warriors, but I was right behind to be able to support with my cataphrats. And you can see I'm pulling my cataphrats in behind the heavy horse, and I want to get some nice rear charges onto the enemy. And I've also got a unit of hoplites here coming out. And I wanted to flank around this unit, but the uh, Spear Warriors were blocking that. And the Tylus uh, troops are doing a tactical retreat. I guess they don't favor their odds against my pikes with the uh, pick top lights. And I snuck two units of my cav around over to help out my ally. So we're going to get some nice charges on the Thracian warriors. Really breaking their resolve here. And the Thracian general is in battle as well with the Hellenic cataphrats. So penning him in would be ideal for us. So only four minutes left in the battle, so let's kind of slow down a bit and take an overview of what's going on. So, with my charges from behind, the Thracian nobles, they are just breaking. And especially on this side, the Thracian warriors don't really have much of a chance. The general is getting pummeled by the three units of shock cav. Looking over to my side, uh, the Tylus player is still retreating, so I'm keeping up with this aggression. I've got my pick top lights actually penned in their noble horse, so I am getting some kills there, which is excellent. And we are starting to break the Thracian warriors on this flank. The Osworn are trying to form up, but I've got my pikes there ready to go. And you can see that my Samnite warriors, they are taking a bit of a beating, but the heavy horse are just getting destroyed between the Hippias lancers and the Samnite warrior sandwich, as it were. <laughs> So we're looking good over on that flank as well. Breaking them in the center. Excellent. So this battle is all over. It's quite a mess. <laughs> but it was epic nonetheless. So let's go over here and enjoy this battle here. This was a pretty large battle with all the cav, and I'm actually quite surprised that the uh, heavy horse didn't break my Samnite warriors quicker, because they got a really nice charge off them. But this isn't good for my hoplites here. They're actually, they're actually sandwiched between a spear warrior unit, but I've got them in shield wall now, so that's really gonna help us out. And you can see that on this side, I'm actually firing my archers into their flanks. Yeah, yeah, taking some big hits there. And I'm just trying to form up my men properly, but them retreating so much actually had me uh, thrown for a loop there. But we've got some, we've got some fighting going on over here. I've got my pick top lights, I believe, with my pikes.
Looking behind, you can see that the Thracians have just about completely broken. Um, I've got some pikemen getting hit quite hard by these uh, two units of Oathsworn. But I'm just trying to chase away their archers as best I can. I've got some Hippaeus Lancers that are freed up from the battle. We've just about wrapped up on that flank. So let's take a quick peek at this charge here. My glorious, glorious Apeus Lancers. Nice. Oh yeah, he's dead. Let's get out of there. Let's take a look at what's left in the battle. So, yes, the uh, Seleucids have completely won on their flank. And I'm just running down their archers with my lances. And I've got my archers actually firing into these Osworn. Yeah, you can see the arrows coming in. I've got these pikes here. They're set up. The Oathsworn are going to try to support uh, their warriors, but it looks like they broke just in time. And I'm moving my pikes into this uh, kind of half-square formation here because I, I really don't want them to escape. And then from the rear, I'm just firing my arrows into their flanks. Ooh. Attack! Attack! Who's with me? Engage! Fire! Engage! So many arrows flying everywhere. Yeah, you can see a lot of them dropping. And that's it. Costly victory, but we did manage to take victory. And my first victory is Syracuse. So that was epic, epic, epic battle. Uh, so taking a look at the stats here. Uh, so we deployed about 4,000 men. Actually, exactly 4,000 men. Uh, whereas they deployed 4,080. And uh, I didn't get the most kills. Uh, the Seleucids actually did. So well done to um, O0 All General. And the Tylus player... And the Odrysian player, uh, thanks very much for joining. I really, really appreciate it. So looking at my Cav, they did actually they did really, really well. My pick top lights also doing well. Uh, Samonite warriors doing good. My archers even doing good. I finally used archers effectively, and my pikes not doing bad. So it looks like 210 is the best so far. Looking at the Seleucids archers, really racking up a lot of kills there, and his shield bearers also doing excellent. Is Cav doing well? Uh, for the Odrysian Kingdom, a lot of his archers just getting melted away by the uh, Seleucid Syrian heavy archers. And his Thracian nobles, um, they're good, but they just didn't they didn't stand a chance by the time they got in melee. They were just too depleted. And Tylus, who's facing against me, um, his noble horse did okay, uh, but I wouldn't have charged them all in. I would have tried to utilize these his tactic of of you know, fighting and retreating would have played well into my hands because my army, as you guys saw, was very, very disorganized. Uh, so we could have got a couple of good rear charges there. But his Oso were not doing too bad, but just didn't kill enough to win the day. So, yes, that is uh, my Rome 2 upload for today. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Rome 2 content in the future. And I will see you in the next one.